What the? Ah, let me go! Let me go! Whoa, whoa! Okay, now, maybe don't let go of me! Don't let go of me! Oh, boy. This is not how I saw my day going. Please don't eat me, Pterodactyl Man! I'm too young to die! Silence! You think you're in any position to make orders right now? This is my nest, pal. I'm the one who's going to be calling the shots. <laughs> now listen up. If you want to leave this nest alive, you're going to do exactly what I say. Got it? Yes, of course. I'll do whatever you want. Just don't hurt me. But please, tell me why you're doing all this. It's a long, sad story. Back when I was a human, I spent my life dreaming of just one thing, being a pilot. And lucky for me, I was gifted in the aerial arts. Some would even venture to call me an ace, but there was just one problem. When it came to testing, I was known to get a little bit of stage fright. All right now, call sign yellow. Can you hear me? Uh, loud and clear, sir. Good. Then you should have no problem following my every instruction. Now, tilt the stick forward and bring her down nice and easy. R Roger that, sir. All right, Yellow. You can do this nice and easy. But then I started picturing myself piloting a busy plane full of judgmental passengers. Loser! You can't fly! Loud noises! Well, I started freaking out a little. Ah. Oh, are you trying to kill us? Pull up! Pull up! Sorry! I don't know what happened. I guess I just got a little nervous and panicked. Hey, this old plane can't handle all these crazy maneuvers, Yellow. We're going to crash if you don't hold her steady. I can't do this. I can't do this. Our engine! We're going down! Prepare for emergency landing! I choked and failed my pilot's test. It was a total disaster. But lucky for me, I had one more chance to redeem myself. I could still go for my helicopter license. I aced all my helicopter classes and cruised through the body of the exam. The second I entered that cockpit, it was like I had become invincible. It helped a lot that they let you take the exam by yourself at the helicopter academy. Call sign yellow. You still doing okay up there? Doing just fine. The only thing left I had to do to get my license was land this chopper back at base camp. But little did I know, the real test was only just beginning. There was a man stranded down by the river in need of my help. I was conflicted. Part of me just wanted to turn around and finish my test, but the man looked like he could be hurt. So I decided. I had to go save him. It was the only right thing to do, even if the idea of having a passenger was starting to make me pretty anxious. Oh man, you have no idea how much trouble I would have been in if you didn't come and find me. How can I ever repay you? Hey, don't mention it. I'm always happy to help a person in need. So, how long you been a pilot for? What? Oh, uh, actually, I... Hey man, are you doing okay? Your hands. They're shaking pretty hard. Don't mind that. I'm just having a bit of stage fright, is all. Look, man, don't mess with me. You know how to fly this thing, right? Uh, uh... Right? What are you doing, Yellow? You're going to crash! Needless to say, I failed my helicopter exam, miserably. My flying career was over before it had even started. Heck, my life was over. Without flying, what would I do? And honestly, who was I? I had reached rock bottom, but then a miracle happened. It was a flying device unlike any I had ever seen before. It was one part backpack, one part helicopter. It was amazing. I just had to try it. So I went to go find it, and see what it was all about. Hello? Is anybody here? 
I followed the flying man into the play place, but to my surprise, the building appeared to be completely abandoned. That's when I found it. There it was, the flying machine. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever laid eyes on, and it had been left completely unguarded. Or so I thought. Hello there. Interested in taking a flight? I can help you with that, you know. No, please, wait. This is a big misunderstanding. I was just... I fell unconscious, and when I woke up, I found myself strapped up to a strange machine. Wait, what's going on? What are you doing to me? No, no, please, stop! I can explain! Welcome to your new body, Yellow. He turned on the device, and the next thing I knew... <laughs> he had turned me into a monster. What have you done to me? I said, what have you done to me? Hey, get off of me. I gave you exactly what you wanted, didn't I? I turned you into something that can fly. Of course. Uh, I'm a bird. That means I can fly. Come on. Come on. What the? Hey, what's going on? Why isn't it working? Why can't I fly? Did you think I'd actually make you a monster that could escape so easily? You're my prisoner here now. You'll never fly. <laughs> it was mortifying. Not only had he turned me into a freak, but my dreams of flying were officially over. But then I had an idea. Wait, what do you think you're doing? Come back here! Yes! Now we're talking! Give that back, you Cretan! And so I flew off into the night. And that's my story. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry, Yellow. That's... that's really awful. Orange, I might have the advantage in the air, but I could really use your ground speed if I'm going to defeat him. So, what do you say? I say... I'm in! Oh, there! Easy, easy! There we go! Finished! <laughs> nice backpack! What the? Well, well, well. If it isn't the nervous little pterodactyl and his new best dino friend. Back to steal another one of my inventions, are you? You turned me into a freak, Red. Now I'm back to make you pay! Oh, yeah? Yeah! If you dare. You ask for it. It's on. Hey, come on, guys. It's not fair. Right here, on the ground. How else am I supposed to join in on the scrap? All right, that's it. I'm tired of this. Got it out, bad boy. I don't think so. What the? How did you get up here? My jetpack! I'm going down! Oh boy! Now I can finally eat my cake! Who said there can't be happy endings? <gasps> Wait, what the? No, my cake! Thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs>